Hey guys, we're gonna do it again and we're gonna shed light on some hard hitting evidence of why you don't overreact to geopolitical headlines. Hey, I am Luke Downey going over a wonderful macro insights piece over at mapsignals.com. Let's go ahead and look at some hard hitting data. Now we do know that geopolitical curveballs happen from time to time, but since 1940, you don't really want to jump off the bullish bandwagon because markets tend to head higher over the medium to longer term. So let's check this out. This is looking at dozens of geopolitical crises since 1940. And here's the raw facts. The S&P 500 is down one week and one month later. But here is why we're always telling you to use these dips as opportunities to buy stocks. Three months later, the S&P is positive. Six and 12 months later, you're looking at market beating average returns of 5.8% and 12.1%. So while there is some uncertainty whenever we see these flare ups, you don't want to be giving up on your long term investing goals. But let's break this down even further. Here we've listed out a number of some major geopolitical crises. Listen, we're talking about Pearl Harbor, the Korean War, JFK assassination, and then obviously recently the Iran bombing of Israel. Now here is the important piece of this. You see your average returns are negative over the near term. Median average, it actually gets a little bit better. Your positive expected return rate out to six months really is two to three because 67.9% positive return six months later and 82% positive 12 months later. So again, use these dips, use this uncertainty to buy great stocks over the medium to long term. Now let's look at our data to see if it actually is telling the same message. Is it jiving with what this data is saying? And it actually is. Let's look at the market's North Star. This is the one that constantly gets us ahead of the move before the news flow catches up. This is our big money index. Again, it is looking at thousands of stocks and it is mapping out the money flow. So if money is coming out of the market, it's telling you all is not well under the surface. However, what we do know is whenever the BMI has one of these drastic falls like we're seeing right now, we are getting closer and closer to the bottom. So uncertainty becomes less and less of a concern. So what does this mean for your portfolio? Well, you should be focusing on the heaviest, highest quality areas in the market. Our data is showing that energy is in pole position with an outstanding map score of 68 financials we have been talking about a lot on this channel they are set to zoom given that the fed is going to be reducing interest rates later this year also industrials there's a huge build out going all over america there are some fantastic companies in the industrial space and we also like materials with a really solid map score of 56 point nine so what should you be doing you should be using geopolitical uncertainty as a great opportunity to buy outstanding companies unfairly punished and that's exactly what map signals does check out our top 20 report that comes out every single week find the outliers invest success i will talk to you guys later Thank you.